Today, on Quick Tips at the Drum Shop, we're gonna talk about mung and how to clean it. I'm talking about mung on your hardware. You know, that dingy mung from all the Jaeger that got spilled on it or who knows what else is on your hardware. It also cakes on your snare hoops, your tom hoops, your lug casings, tom mounts, all that just sticky bleh. We're gonna talk about how to clean it. And how do you clean it? Not with Windex, not with Pledge. If it's chrome and shiny, or it used to be before you got it all munged up, you use good old fashioned steel wool. However, be very careful, it's not just any steel wool, but it is quadruple ot or quadruple zero. Why? Because that's a polishing grade of steel wool. Don't get the three, don't get the two, and don't get the one. All that will scratch the out of your hardware. So don't use it. Just make sure when you go to Home Depot, you go to the paint section, the bottom shelf, pretty much all the way down at the end of the aisle, the last box of steel wool will usually be quadruple ot. They even put it in red so you can't mess it up. Once you've gotten home with your bag of steel wool from Home Depot or wherever you buy it, I just know where to find it at Home Depot. You're gonna grab a piece of your hardware and you're gonna test it. Why? Because I want you to see for yourself how good it actually works. And I want you to test it on something like a stand before you go messing with one of your drum shells. Because it will scratch the lacquer finish on your shells. So you must be very careful. But let's get back to this. So it'll be kind of hard to see, but we'll give a close-up video yeah, right over here. Amazing, right? It's so easy and it's so fast. Just this and just rubbing the rod and everything comes clean that quick. Check out this hoop we did. Remember kids, when you go to Home Depot and you go to buy your bag of steel wool, it's like four bucks. You're gonna get quadruple ot. If you can't see the red box with the four zeros, look for it in the grade. It says it. Just pick it up, take it to the counter, pay for it, go home, have a mung cleaning party at your house. Throw on a couple movies, clean your gear. Again, word of caution, if you're going to do this, with your lug casings still attached to your shell, you are making a grave error. It will scratch the lacquer and it will scratch the plastic laminate around the lug casings. So do that at your own risk. That's my one disclaimer. Otherwise, take everything off, do it the right way. I promise you, you will see amazing results and your kit will look fantastic. It will sparkle like it hasn't in a long time and you'll be mungless. Well, that's your quick tip of the week from the drum shop. We hope you enjoyed it. You know the drill. Click the red circle to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Click over there for the next video. We really appreciate your support. We hope you have a great time. And if you have any questions, you know, leave them down in the comments. Thank you so much. Have a great day from the drum shop.